Hello, my name's Ken Brown. I'm here at the Roehampton Club on a beautiful sunny day. And I'm here to shoot a few Ken on the courses. And it's a perfect day to do it. Take a look at this place, a green oasis in London. It's amazing, can you believe it? Well, it's quite unusual to see this three holes in a row, all par fours, all under 300 yards. And you might think, oh, that's easy peasy, but it's not the case. Let's take a little look down the fifth, which is 289 yards, plays a little bit downhill. You can't see the green surface from the tee because there's a mound on the right side. And you play down the hill, narrow entrance to the green, but it's guarded by a bunker down the left side, which is the key one. Do you lap short of that? Or do you go past it and try and drive the green? So there's something there for all level of golfer to challenge them. And what an interesting green it is. Two bunkers right, one on the left, and a little two level green. It's a cracking little par four. This is the key bunker on number five. This one down the left side short of the green. What do you do with that? Do you take it on or do you lay up just to the right of it? And it's not the widest of fairways either. But the key thing on this hole is where's the pin cut? If you're going to have a go with your driver, which some players, big hitters, could be able to reach, otherwise you lay up short of an iron, where's the flag? And there are four real options on this green, two right and two left. And wherever they're tucked, it's tricky. So your position with your layup's got to be just right. If you're going for the green with your tee shot, don't miss on the side that the hole is cut. A little tear in the green too, a little ledge, which adds to the spice. A little pitcher coming in with, or trying to run it into this narrow area, with this little tear in the green just where you'd like to land the ball. So you can, the front pin, you can pitch it in here and spin it back. Or this little area at the back here that's about 15 yards wide by eight yards deep. What a hole, it's short, but it's a real beauty. Make sure you make the right choice or you could be in trouble. Par three seventh, 201 yards, just plays a little downhill. So club selection all important. But what you're thinking on the tee is where you're gonna land the ball. Are you gonna land a little short and let it kick on or are you gonna try and fly all the way? It's a reasonably deep green, but when you land the ball on it, it tends to run away a bit. So you've gotta be very precise with your club selection. And what a view it is from that tee, it's magic. Pretty, isn't it, behind the green here? The horse chestnut and the lovely rhododendrons. It's a beautiful spot and you're playing into that. The bunker down the right here, you think, well, that's about 15 yards short of the green. Why is that there? That's there to deceive the eye. When you stand there, it makes the green look closer than it is. And have a look at the green. This is an absolute beauty. Slope at the front of it, bunker left, and the green runs away from you. So what you can do, you can fire it all the way, or you can ping it off this little slope on the front left and the ball just trickles onto the putting surface, runs on and on. You'll be amazed how quick it is from front to back. So club selection, really all important. The ball just keeps going, going, going. Beautiful green with a tilt from left to right. And behind it, the beautiful trees. Look at those beautiful trees. One of my favourite things, the halfway house on number seven two, an early drink. The tenth is a fantastic par five. Not that long, but so interesting. And there are three bunkers down the right side, one just behind us, and these two, these are the major things. Now, if you're going to lay out and play it as a three shot, you hit it this bit of the fairway here, take those bunkers out of play, and you've got about 35 yards to play with. But if you go the other way and take them on, the fairway gets much narrower, it pinches in. And I suppose this area of fairway, well, it must be 25 yards wide. But the cleverness of how it's set up, you drive down the right, you get the best angle in. If you go down this left side, well, I never. The further left you go, the big tree that guards the left of the green, that great big tree there, just gets in your way. So the further left you go, the further you play from the hazard, the harder the hole plays. This is a cracking tee shot. Get it right, you might get on the green for two. Get it wrong, ooh, it can be tricky. Well, the layup at number 10, you've got a decision to make. There's this pop bunker that's about 60 yards short of the green. Do you play short of it or over it? Big decision. If you get it wrong, the ball trickles into this little pop bunker 
and you're in the lap of the gods. Probably 75 yards to the, to the flag. And the lip is just a little higher than you think. You've got to be so careful here. And these long bunker shots are never easy. Well, I found a decent lie on the upslope. Let's have a go at it. In fact, really from here, it'd be a very good shot to find the green. And I'm not capable of that anymore. I shall get it out, but not much more. Avoid this bunker at number 10 or you'll probably take a six. The course really is beautifully presented. Just come and have a look at this bunker. Nice texture of sand. And just have a look at this edge, how it's been almost scissored away. It really is magnificent. The whole bunker looks absolutely perfect. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna roll into the bottom of it. Now the fringe, have a look at the fringe as well. This is manicured, about an inch here. And there's another cut here. That's a, just about a quarter of an inch long, but this little area here is the second cut of the fringe. And then we're on the greens. And they are beautiful. Have a look at this bat. Bit of break from right to left. A little bit down the hill. Off she goes. Watch her turn though. Into the little slope. Not too bad. We're on the 13th green here. There's one or two greens. If you're going to have a real good chance of a birdie, you've got to keep the ball below the cup. But this course is in beautiful nick. I think you'd really love it. The 17th, 217 yards, a really demanding par three, this one. Bunker short right, bunker on the left side. Little area to run your ball on. It's a cracking par three and a demanding one. And there's a little subtlety on the green that you've got to have a look at. It's what makes the green. It's a little ridge. TV-wise, you hardly see it, but I'll just show you where it is. It's just run through the center of the green, across at this angle, this little bit here. From here, it slopes to the, the tee, and from here, it slopes to the back of the green. And this is why it's interesting. You can run the ball on here and use this slope. So you play it down the centre of the green and watch how the balls get gathered up. They just slowly get gathered up to the left towards the cup. But that's okay if you're going to the back pin. If you're going to the front pin and you get a little bit too long, it leaves you a pretty treacherous putt all the way back to there. So a little slope in the green is the key thing. If you can find the middle of the putting surface, you're going to have a 30 footer or so. Get it a little bit wrong, very demanding but that little slope just gathered you to the back left pin, which is covered by that trap. This is the beauty of a three. I hope you've enjoyed a look around the course here. It really is a delight. Not the longest course in the world, but it's got some beautiful holes. I love those 200 odd yard par fours in beautiful condition. It really is perfect for juniors, beginners, seniors, and in fact, anybody playing the game. Well, I'm on the 18th. I know I've left myself a downhill from right to left. Let's have a go. Looks quite quick. Here we go. On its way. I know it's going to turn a little bit from right to left. Not quite firm enough, but the beauty of this 18th, it's not that long a walk to the clubhouse just over there. You can sit on the veranda and watch people come through. I think it's time for a pint, or maybe even two or three. <laughs> <laughs>